More than 100 fake Super Bowl and World Series championship rings seized in Shrewsbury. A federal agent found them in a package from China heading to Webster. And as WBZ's Louisa Muller explains, just one of those counterfeit rings could sell for millions of dollars. This says, uh, we are all patriots. It has Robert Kraft's uh, signature. On a table in Worcester, what looks to be any sports collector's dream. Yeah, these are all Brady, and actually every ring is uh, an individual. So this is for the Red Sox. It's for Pierce. To the untrained eye, it's 101 Super Bowl and World Series rings. And then we have the uh, random, right here, the random Brett Favre 1996 ring. So. But Kevin Mahoney says, don't be fooled. It's actually a counterfeit loot. Uh, what I noticed first was the weight, had a very substantial weight to it. The Customs and Border Protection officer intercepted the bogus bling at a UPS distribution center in Shrewsbury, sent from China on its way to a person in Webster. The vast majority that we get here is from China. Hong Kong is a big, uh, big shipper of counterfeit goods. With a variable price tag. The value of this shipment could range anywhere from $35,000 if they're sold as replicas to $2 million if these are advertised as authentic championship rings. When it comes to counterfeit, Mahoney has seen a lot. Consistently, I have gotten a lot of counterfeit makeup in the past. Also, I get a lot of uh, like high-end uh, handbags, kind of your Gucci, your Louis Vuitton. And he says it hurts the local economy. But this time, no one will be swindled into buying a fake Pierce or Jeter. Any non, like a narcotic, we actually bring for destruction. In Worcester, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.